The people can march! Defiant nationwide mass protest. Amid a pandemic. The Black Lives Matter movement, inspired by the death of black American George Floyd at the hands of a white police officer, inviting reflection about Australia's record on race relations, its high rates of indigenous incarceration, the hundreds of deaths in custody. A moment of unified reckoning Hardly. I think it is incredibly selfish. Cabinet Minister Matthias Cormann condemning protesters, saying they had recklessly defied medical advice and risked unpicking efforts to control the coronavirus curve. It's incredibly self-indulgent and yes, I mean, it does uh, impose uh, unnecessary and unacceptable risk on to the community. Matthias Cormann should know better. Labour's Linda Burney saying all political leaders should listen to a cry from the heart from those calling out inequality. It struck me, listening to people at the protest, that they were very conscious of what the health risks are. And we even saw police officers in Queensland handing out face masks. But Matthias Cormann was unrepentant, saying no one should forget the enormous sacrifices already made. People have been unable to attend funerals of their loved ones to help uh, stop the spread of the virus. But we're going to have a mass gathering of tens of thousands of people in complete breach of the rules that apply to anybody else. It is absolutely reckless. WA's Treasurer Ben Wyatt says he understands the passion of protesters but is anxious about the risk to those they march for. The people who will be most under threat for an outbreak of coronavirus are Aboriginal people. Medical authorities now on the alert in case COVID-19 was an invisible presence at protests. If there were to be uh, a number of cases that were to develop uh, related to the protests, then that would be a, a game changer. No time is ever entirely convenient for uncomfortable truths, but balancing a democratic right to protest and the need to protect the population from a highly infectious virus is devilishly difficult. If the protests do cause a spike in infections, everyone will lose if it delays the reopening of the economy. Andrew Proben, ABC News, Canberra.